hello everyone how to simplify this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator if we have 9 divided by 4 and its whole exponent is 9 divided by 4 so we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem so that's why we need to do uh, the solution of this problem uh, stepwise okay so uh, i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here uh, first we write this 9 as 3 square and we write this 4 as 2 square and its exponent is 9 divided by 4 after that we use here this nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m so we write it as a divided by b and its whole power is m so according to this rule we need to combine the exponents of these two terms and when we combine the exponent of these two terms it will be written as 3 over 2 whole square and its whole power is 9 divided by 4 and now here again uh, we use another exponential law here and uh, you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this uh, exponential law we just multiply these two exponents here and when we multiply these two exponents it will be written as 3 divided by 2 and its whole exponent is 2 multiplied by 9 over 4 now uh, we need a simplification here so we have this 2 is cancelled out by here and this 2 times 2 becomes 4 and it will be written as 3 divided by 2 and its whole exponent is 9 over 2 and now here we need to focus on this term 9 so here we write this 9 as this is 3 divided by 2 and its exponent is this is 9 we write it as 5 plus 4 divided by 2 and further in the next step uh, here uh, we need uh, to separate these two values and when we separate this uh, or when we break this fraction it will be written as 3 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2 plus 4 over 2 and here uh, we use another exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n but here you see that these are cancelled by each other this is 2 times 2 becomes 4 and now we apply this exponential law to the above expression uh, so after applying uh, this rule uh, our above expression is written as this is 3 divided by 2 and its whole power is 5 over 2 into 3 divided by 2 and its whole power in this case is 2 and uh, when we uh, separately apply this power on both of these two terms it will become so this 3 square becomes 9 this 2 square becomes 4 and here we have 3 over 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 this is 3 over 2 and its exponent is 5 over 2 and now here we uh, rewrite this exponent as in this form first we have 9 over 4 and here we move this 1 over 2 inside the term and it will be written as 3 to the power of 1 over 2 divided by we write this 2 as 2 to the power of 1 over 2 and its whole power is 5 and we know about that 3 to the power of 1 over 2 is written as square root of 3 and it will become 9 divided by 4 into we write this term as square root of 3 and we write this term as square root of 2 and its whole power is 5. So now we separate this 5 power on both of these terms and it will be written as 
this is 9 divided by 4 into square root of 3 and its whole power 5 divided by square root of 2 and its whole power is 5 so this power 5 means that we multiply square root of 3 5 times and it will be written as 9 divided by 4 into here we have a square root of 3 is multiplied by 5 times in this way okay uh, here we multiply this with 5 times similarly in the denominator term we again multiply um, this square root of 2 5 times and it will become square root of 2 multiply square root of 2 multiply square root of 2 multiply square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2 uh, and after this um, here we need to make the pairs of terms so we make the these two pairs these two pairs similarly these two and these two and it will be written as 9 divided by 4 into we write this as a square root of 3 and its whole square multiplied by square root of 3 and its whole square into here we have this is square root of 3 in the same pattern we write the denominator runs as square root of 2 and its whole square multiplied by square root of 2 and its whole square multiplied by square root of 2 and now here after that these terms are written as this 2 and this square root are gone this 2 and this square root are also gone and we get here 9 divided by 4 into here we have 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by square root of 3 divided by this 2 and this 2 gone this 2 and this 2 gone and we get here 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by square root of 2 okay so here further we multiply these two terms and it will becomes here 9 divided by 4 into this is 3 times 3 becomes 9 this 2 times 2 becomes 4 into uh, square root of 3 divided by square root of 2 and here we need more simplifications and now uh, we multiply 9 with 9 becomes 81 and 4 times 4 becomes 16 and here uh, we uh, rationalize this term with the denominator so this is the denominator of square root of 2 uh, we multiply and divide by square root of 2 so now uh, you see here these two terms involve square root so we combine the square root of these two terms and it will become 3 multiplied by 2 divided by 16 into here we combine the square root of these two terms and it will become the square root of 2 and its whole square so here we obtain 81 times 3 times of 2 becomes square root of 6 and these 2 and this square root are gone and we get here 16 multiplied by 2 so finally we get here the final simplified form of the given question is that 81 times of square root of 6 divided by 16 times of 2 becomes here 32. So this is our final simplified form of the given question and this is the final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.